Hi, my name is Stephen McGee, and I'm the author of Toxic Health. We're here today to talk about harmonics. And what we're looking at right now is in the background we have a lamp, and in the foreground we have a oscilloscope which is recording the current that's going out to that lamp. And the lamp is actually controlled by a lamp dimmer. And that's what's causing those spikes. We're actually looking at the 60 hertz mains being chopped up by the lamp dimmer, as that is how most lamp dimmers work. They vary the waveform that goes out to the lamp. And that varying of the waveform dims the lamp. But what it also does is it creates harmonics. And I'm going to show you how to detect those harmonics. And the number one tool that you want is an oscilloscope with a fast Fourier transform function. And this one has it, and I'm going to switch it on right now. So there you have the harmonic content of the waveform, and you can see there's a lot of frequencies there. That scale that we're on right now is 250 hertz per division. And you can see the fundamental harmonic on the left, which is 60 hertz, and the rest are the odd harmonics coming off the lamp bulb. And the smaller spikes in between are actually the even harmonics. So we've got quite a mix of the harmonics in there, and those harmonics keep on repeating almost indefinitely. If we increase the scale, we're at one kilohertz per division. You can see there's a lot of harmonic content there. And we go up to 10 kilohertz, and we vary the lamp dimmer, we can see that that harmonic content changes. And that's something to be aware of with harmonics is, because the harmonics vary with the load of the network, Every time you measure the network, you may actually be measuring a different set of harmonics because you may have a different type of load on the network each time you go to it. So the problem with harmonics is there's many problems with harmonics. and uh, It's a very poorly understood subject in power engineering. And uh, you need some extra tools to actually measure, truly measure harmonics. And one of them is a tri-field meter. This particular one is the 100XE, and it has a magnetic setting, it has an electric setting, it has radio. And uh, you'll find around equipment that has high harmonic content on it, you can get very strange magnetic, electric, and radio fields around that equipment that you wouldn't normally get. And it's those fields that you need to be very careful of because in the human health environment, people may get very sick. And uh, in the electrical system environment, you're going to find you're going to get some very strange things going on. You're going to find electrical systems tripping for no reason. Well, they may actually overload, start overheating. They may even go on fire. So you've got to be very careful about harmonics. And in particular, it may actually overload your neutral cable. So it's something to be very aware of in the field of electrical power engineering. And uh, Something, another test tool that's very useful is an AM radio. You just tune it into static, so there's no radio station, because you're going to be picking up wideband radio emissions. And uh, just start scanning your equipment with it, and you should hear the radio start buzzing like crazy around anything that's got large harmonics on it. So there you have it. I hope you've got an overview for what, what harmonics are, and the problems that they can cause in the human environment, and also the problems that they can cause in the electrical environment. I wish you the very best of health and I hope you enjoyed this presentation. Thank you.